girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live in the color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Give me thumbs up, thumbs down. I appreciate all the love from each and every one of y'all. Include my new subscribers. Thank y'all so much. To the ones that have not subscribed, just subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you join the family. Okay, y'all. I want to talk about black women's hair, okay? I did a video similar to this a couple years ago, and it was a rant because another YouTuber um, said something about my hair that was disrespectful, but um, I want to talk about our hair, okay? Our hair is our crown, okay? A lot of us Black girls were taught at a young age to cherish your hair, protect your hair, love your hair, maintain it, do what you can to not damage your hair because your hair is your crown, it is your glory, it is just what is 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 your identity as a black woman. And never do anything to mess up your crown. Um, and I'm not afraid to admit that I damaged my crown for years. By putting in relaxers, bleaching it, you know, coloring it, um, and not taking care of it. Um, as black women, we need to learn to really love our hair and not trying to be somebody that we are not because when as black women when you relax your hair you are trying to be women that's of another race okay and that's not your hair okay your hair is kinky kinky the way they say it's kinky okay um your hair has coils. Your hair has natural curls. Your hair has a pattern to it. And it's supposed to have a pattern to it as a black woman, a woman of color. Supposed to. You're not supposed to straighten your hair permanently. Okay? You're damaging your hair. You are damaging what God gave you. To try to look like somebody you are not. Okay? And that's not good. Love who you are. Love the skin that you are in. Love the hair that you was given. Now, some of us do have that hair that's better than the other hair. If you know what I mean. Okay? My best friend that I call my sister... Before she cut her hair and everything, she had that good slash black people's hair. You know, she did put relaxers in her hair just to get the roots, you know, because her roots were, you know, so, but she still had that good hair. That hair that you really did not have to do too much to, to maintain it. But, you know, we abuse our hair we do this we do that and our hair suffers a lot from the stuff that we do to it um i think braids are beautiful um but what we do is we like to go to the african folks and we all know that the african folks braid your head not your hair. They braid your head. They braid your brain. They braid your skull. Just so tight. I've never went to the African folks. I never did. I never will. Because, let me tell you something. I went to school with a girl when I was getting my GED. She went to the African folks. And when I tell you she had no edges... I mean, she had no edges, like no edges, okay? She had no edges. She was bald as a baby's butt. 
And I'm like, why did you do this to your hair? I'm like, girl, do you see your hair? Like, do you see what your hair look like? Why are you doing this to your hair? Like, what's the point? Why did you let somebody pull your hair out like this? She said, well, my, I, I like how they do my hair because my hair be so cute. Girl, your hairline is running away. Stop letting these people mess up your hair like that. Whether y'all know it or not, you can develop alopecia from your hair being pulled so tight. Okay? You can develop alopecia from your hair being pulled so doggone tight. And once you develop alopecia and your hair is gone, it's gone. So be careful of who you let put their hands in your head because you have some people that will grow your hair and you have some people that will take your hair out. It's like they got an evil spirit in them somewhere and that evil spirit is running havoc on your head. So protect your crown, ladies. Men, protect your crowns at all costs, y'all. Please protect your crown, because if you don't, it's going to be messed up. It's going to be crooked. It's going to lean. You have got to protect your hair, y'all. You have got to. You got to, because your hair is beautiful. Your hair is beautiful. You should want to protect it and not let nobody damage it. You should not want to damage your hair, okay? And the reason I am talking about this is because y'all seen the young lady that put the Gorilla Glue in her head. Y'all seen it. And she's suffering because of it now. She is going through pure hell because she put that Gorilla Glue in her hair. Now she is suffering because of it. Y'all, please be careful of the things that you do to your hair. Just, just be careful of what you do and how you do it to your hair. Be careful of what you put in your hair. Because what you put in your hair could make your hair either grow or come out. You just got to know what's going to happen, the, the consequences and the repercussions. I'm just saying. But I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, tell me down below in the comments. And in the meantime and in between time, give me those big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell twice to be notified if you're an old subscriber. Make sure no case on, share my video. Like I always say, God only gives you one life, y'all. Please live it. Bye, y'all.